So I I have a funny story. Um, I got into a really large debate at work over cars. Okay. Um, I thought I I was so pumped up because I thought I had come up with the best fucking idea, the best invention. See, uh, have you ever watched Shark Tank? Uh, I have, yeah. And you know how there's um. There's, there's. Do you have any episodes that you particularly like that you like to talk about? No, like I remember one where a guy's idea was he was gonna make like an oil store for like cooking oils, like olive oils and things. Yeah. And he called it the Oilery. Yeah. And I thought that that was a shitty name, mm-hmm. but so that's like the one episode I can remember specifics. But, yeah. But continue. I had um, one of the episodes that I I'll never forget. I I really liked it. Uh, only because I felt really bad for the guy who pitched it. And that's because, um, so, because right away, as soon as he pitched this idea, you know, it was set up for disaster. Yeah. It was a uh, post-traumatic stress disorder Marine uh, who had been in Vietnam, and he came up with this invention of pretty much it was a, you know those construction cars that have the cherry picker on them? Yeah. It was one of those, but instead of a cherry picker connected to the end of it, it was like 60 used tires stacked upon on top of each other. And his point was that he really regrets that he was in Vietnam. It really, I felt bad because the entire cause, the entire story, it just touched you at the heart. You felt so bad for this guy. And And he said that there was a lot of mines in Vietnam that have not been set off, so there's just random children running around, stepping on them and getting blown up. So he developed this cherry picker car that pretty much puts recycled tires on top of the mine and completely absorbs the explosion. And it's like this whole time you're like, God, I fucking love this guy. And then the first, you know, that cocksucking fucking the 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 rich bald guy. I forgot what his name is. The guy was like the biggest dick on the show. Mm, you know, I don't, I don't know. Well, I know it's a it's Mark. Is it Mark? Is it's it, not Mark Cuban. It's uh. Is it Derek? Is it Todd? I I have no I idea what his name oh, is. I'm just oh. guessing here. Okay, no, no. It's it's I don't know. It's something. Yeah, it's something. But he, but he goes, how the fuck do you plan to market this? Yeah. How is this going to benefit? Setting off my. How is this going? Who who is thinking? What should I buy today? A D minor, you know. As in the guitar chord. But anyways, so I was thinking, you know what would be really fucking awesome that I don't understand why nobody has? And everybody thought I was really stupid for it. And then, of all people, Kelly completely shut me down for it. It was, why don't people completely customize their cars to the fullest fucking extent? What do you mean? What I mean by that is, I went to an auto museum a few months ago where they had a shitload of 50s classic cars. Okay. Great cars, shit that you see in Greece, in in Greece, like, in like muscle cars. Like yeah, the it, uh, uh, n- not so much like drag race cars, but like you said, yeah, muscle like cars. Steve McQueen. Yeah, yeah. And um, the 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 you know the stereotypical like light blue car with with a you know a loose heel ball sure. chick driving it. You know, sure, like the Camaro. And yeah. Your and and I was thinking, well. So those cars, they're like, even though they're classic cars, they're twenty grand, and you can buy it. And I'm thinking, fuck, you can buy a brand new Honda Civic, which is like the cheapest car you can get for twenty five grand. That's that's more than a classic car. How does that make sense? And the reason why it makes sense is because the insurance would be a lot since it's a classic car, and then the gas mileage would be really shitty. Sure. And I'm thinking, fuck, I would love to. T- I, I wouldn't give a fuck about ruining the classic car. I drive a fucking classic car to work every single fucking day covered in Chicago weather, blizzard, you know, condition. I would just be, I, I feel pimped out in it. Sure. But, but, but what I'm thinking is to solve that problem with gas, why not customize it and be like, I'm going to put a Honda Civic engine in there and or whatever and, you know, put make a core that's less heavier than whatever steel is in it now. Why not... What I'm trying to say is I'd like to have a car where how about a, I don't know, convertible Hummer that has a Honda engine that's got, 
instead of 20 inch rims lawnmower wheels you know why, why the fuck not you know well i don't know anything about physics yeah but i feel like if that would work <laughs> i feel like i feel like if that'd be a thing i feel like it would like be a thing by yeah. now but i don't know like if you're like i think you need that horsepower to to ch- to move well, that weight well and well to move the weight and two to impress all the chicks oh yeah you know like who wants a muscle car that right? is uh what are those like the hybrid you know who wants a hybrid muscle car come on no there's something well, very fuck, s- i mean why not i mean it'll look cool and it'll be gas efficient yeah but there's nothing sexy about being, being gas efficient well, I mean, I'm just, how are you going to market this? Who's going to buy a D minor? Who's going to buy the uh, yeah, Hummer yeah. with the lawnmower wheels? Well, I, I mean, what I'm seeing is that well, Kelly shut it down. She said, "Well, when if if you were if there was somebody who committed a crime or crashed their car or robbed somebody, it'd be hard to describe. Oh, hey, here was this fucking convertible RV that's built backwards, but it's actually a you know Oscar Mayer Wiener car, like sure. you know." It'd just be really difficult to describe that to the police. Well, I feel like don't you have to like register that sort of thing with like yeah. license plates and it's like oh yeah and then and and you know when you get yeah when you get registration and when you get insurance it says on there like the brand the type the year yeah and you'd be like oh no this is uh this is a full car yeah, yeah that's right what it's here. registered under so that that's what shuts down my idea I mean wouldn't it be fucking great to like roll into time uh, oh yeah and of course my. The last time I mentioned it, my gun nut friend, he's like, yeah, well, you know, you can own a tank. I'm like, fuck yeah. What if you could customize that? Have a mm. fucking tank with hydraulics, chrome plated with with some, y- you know, subwoofers in there. Be bouncing in town. You know. Yeah. <laughs> You're listening to Two Knock, Two Knock, yeah, Ton. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> that, scare the shit out of everybody. That, scare the shit out of all those gun nuts. Make them more that, paranoid. It sounds expensive. Yeah. 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 But but that's what I'm saying. If I was fucking, if if you were rich, wouldn't you customize your cars like that? I um. Did you ever watch Richard Scarry's Busy Town? No, I've never heard of that before. It was like a it was a kid show. I think it maybe was a book, but yeah. it was like Lowly Worm. Do you remember like the worm with like the like leader hosen and like the the feather cap? Did does no. Bring any, so anyway, I remember was, a worm with an army hat. Uh, maybe uh, Lowly changed his hats, but it was uh. Lowly Worm. And it was, or maybe I'm thinking of Worms, the video game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that might be it. But no, there was this uh, monkey character, and his car was just like a really long banana, like yeah. convertible, like no top, and he would just cruise around town in his little banana car. Yeah. And if I, that's my dream car. I want that that monkey's banana car. Yeah. It's just like fuck yeah, dude! It's a banana car, right? That. So I like where your head's at, but how are you gonna market it? Exactly. Yeah. Some people, you know, they get the twenty-inch rims to compensate for their small penis. Well, I'd be like, "Well, fuck! I got lawnmower rims, lawnmower rims, but I still have a small penis." Yeah. <laughs> I'm not misrepresenting. You know? Sure, that's the curse. Uh, <laughs>